Hey everybody, I'm Suzanne, and in today's video, we're going to paint a rooster. Now, we're not just gonna paint any rooster, we're painting Dudley. And Dudley is a very special rooster that belongs to some folks named Richard and Susan. And they have been very sweet and kind to bless me with lots of really wonderful farm fresh eggs. And so many, in fact, that I end up blessing others <laughs> with their eggs. Since they get over a dozen of eggs a, a day, from their chickens. They're, they're wonderful folks and they actually bring their eggs to some of the local missions and areas just here in town, just supplying people with eggs, really good, healthy food. And so I wanted to be able to return a little fragment of the kindness that they give me by doing their rooster Dudley. So in today's video, we're gonna paint Dudley and you're going to follow along with me in, in the process of painting Dudley's portrait. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you are my subscribers, as always, thank you so much. And if you're not, please consider subscribing and be sure to check out the options that I have in my membership, uh, on my YouTube membership here on my channel. It's just another way to get more out of this channel. And um, yeah, go ahead and become a member because we have fun, we have fun. And uh, also, if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. And I, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and paint Dudley and uh, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. So sit back, stay with me, and let's go ahead and get into this portrait of Dudley the rooster. And here comes Richard with my eggs. He always brings me eggs. I'm so excited. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's like, oh, oh yeah. Singer's yeah. like, let's see some eggs. Let's see those fine looking eggs. Let me see it. Singer down. Off, off. Now he's your friend, right? Oh. Now he's going to be. Oh, now you'll you... see the variety there. Oh, wow. That there's really big ones. They're really, really big. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. That's a long one. That's, well, the, that's probably uh, a leghorn. Okay. And uh, this is probably a leghorn also. We have a black one and a white one. And the smaller white ones are from the Dorkings. Those okay. are the endangered species that, uh, or, you know, heritage breed. Yeah. That um, we, we were trying to save those guys. Awesome. And well. We also have barred rock. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm sure go. all the eggs taste delicious. And as yeah. I, I can honestly attest, and I've been sharing, I gave mom... I actually cut the last box in half, gave mom a half of the box, mm -hmm. and she's enjoying them. I said, Mom, just, just don't buy too many eggs because I can I can keep you in eggs. <laughs> so right. I'm, I'm sharing them with lots of folks, and everybody's enjoying them. That's so, Richard, terrific. I want to thank you so much for bringing those eggs by. And, uh, yep. I'm I, so happy to be able to share them with you I well, mean, because we're getting a dozen a day. And with a dozen eggs a day, Richard is doing his best to distribute them and share in the love. And he's giving so many eggs to so many folks in this area. So we're, he's very kind to, and to do that. So I'm doing a little painting for Richard and Susan of their prize, Dorking Rooster, Dudley. And so that's what today's video is going to be all about. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and do Dudley, the amazing bird. The paint palette we're going to use for the Darking Rooster, Mr. Dudley, is as follows. We've got Van Dyke Brown and Burnt Umber, both Michael Harding. We have Ivory Black, Ultramarine Blue, Indanthrene Blue, and Doxazine Purple, all Windsor Newton. I have King's Blue and Pale Violet, Michael Harding. Titanium White, Windsor Newton, and ooh, what is this? That is a t Italian, sorry, <laughs> singer's gotta say something here. That is Italian, you know what, before I tell you wrong, it is Italian Brown Ochre by Michael Harding. So, this is our lineup of paint colors for Mr. Dudley. All right, here's our setup, and I've got, and I'll be able to share the reference of, um, of Dudley. Uh, this is what I'm working from. Basically, I just did a rough sketch with um, vine charcoal. This happens to be a linen panel. This is an eight by eight linen panel. And I've got my paints here. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of block in the bird. I'm not gonna go with the green grass. I think I'm just gonna go with kind of a brownish. Uh, and that's why I put down the Italian uh, brown umber. But we're just gonna go with this and see where, where it heads. 
All right, so here we go. I have only a few minutes before I have to take my dog <laughs> to the groomer. So I'm going to do a quick blocking in of Mr. Dudley here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of King's Blue, a little bit of um, Van Dyke Brown and make an interesting little gray here. A little bit of white in there. And I'm just gonna suggest where his, all his uh, interesting colors, and it seems very dark at first when you see me put, putting this on at first, but let me actually lay that up just a little bit more. I'm using a number two rosemary ivory long filbert. laying down the grays which I used uh, with the King's Blue and Van Dyke Brown and Titanium White and there are some temperature shifts in his hackles here so you can see I have kind of a yellower version of gray as well that I made basically using the um, um, pale violet and the yellow ochre. Now here's fun color. Now in Danthrene Blue I'm using a combination of Danthrene Blue and a little bit of brown in there because I like that richness. It's it's less than, it, it's not quite black, right? So it just makes it a lot more interesting. But obviously it's the dark portion of the bird and I'm just popping in as much as I can in the time frame that I have before I have to take Singer to the groomer. And I'm adding some browns and some dioxazine purple into the browns a little bit. And it helps to move, I know this is actually sped up, but it does help to move fast like this when you're working in the blocking in stage because you're not getting trapped in the detail, you're just laying down or blocking in the color that you see. And as I mentioned, I wasn't going to go with the green background. I really just wanted to go with kind of a, a brownish or tan background. I really didn't want to put a lot of detail into the background. And since I'm putting off in the distance here, I've cooled it down considerably. So I'm, I'm mixing into the kind of a yellow ochre and Italian green umber. I'm mixing a little bit of the um, pale violet and titanium white. And you can see it's graying it down quite a bit. You can see I've just used straight um, violet right into that and it works. I am going to, I'm using a smaller brush. This is a two watt rosemary uh, pointed red dot. And I'm just gonna kind of suggest where all these fun little waddles are going. So I know that this white's coming way out. Now, waddles are fun because it's, it's an interesting play of warm and cool colors at the same time. And I know that this will be about here. This is where the ear hole would be. And I'm going in this color right this minute. I'm making sure I have enough. I may be putting more on the back of this bird too. Um, and I'm looking here. The eye will be about placed right about in this area. So the bill is going to be coming out a little bit. The bill is, um, hmm, it's kind of a light version of this color here. It's, oops, no, we don't want any red on it. He does not have a red bill. That's what happens if you don't clean your brush off. So he's, the bill is downturned a little bit. And the top portion. Make that that silvery gray. Switching over to a brown, going with a uh, little Van Dyke brown. So since I have such close values here, I will be changing that, you know I will. 
which means that's why I can change the background color. So while I'm at it, let's grab a little bit here. And I can just chop in here like this. Right here, and this is all gonna be this white. So I'm just kind of cutting in. And having the value light is really important here. mess in here, if you will, I'm trying to get all my shapes in here right. So I may just kind of park it here for a little bit. And because I know that the front of this bird is going to be a lot lighter, I'm going to pull some of this out here. Because there's going to be like, like light like this, just really almost backlit but we're not really doing the detail yet, but I have to kind of pull it out a little bit here. So I kind of suggest that now that'll make it easier for when I go back inside. So I can go with, I love, love, love the contrast, remember? So here I can just sort of, I see that there's an angle that this comes down. So I'm going in dark and I'm, I'm going in and then it kind of curves around. So some of this may be coming out a little bit more. Okay. Now we're gonna look at his comb. So if this is here, it kind of goes straight up. And even with a lot of other species, you kind of have to get this part right. This is kind of like fingerprints and IDing certain birds. So he's, he's got another tall one right there. And a really tall one right there. And a smaller one there. Another smaller one there. Now, there's a lot of coolness that's going to happen in here. I'm kind of going in with a mid-tone red. So I mixed, actually, my CAD red light with, um, which happens to be the, um, uh, the, um, um, the color out of North Carolina, which is um, the Blue Ridge paint. And I mixed it with, um, Michael Harding's Magenta. And it looks like he's got like little stuff going on here. So we'll, we'll figure that out. But I wanted to get kind of his height and some of these kind of go like this. There's little, there's little things that will happen here, but we'll get that in. But I kind of wanted to get that comb in. So again, I'm gonna go in, knowing that I'm gonna go in with right now, more of the magenta. Let's see if this will do what I want it to do. Now, I'm gonna go in with um, ivory black into the color I already mixed. And I'm steadying my hand. And there's like a shadow on this side of the And this is a lot skinnier. I'll probably um, be able to make it skinnier when I cut in, in, in amongst it. So I'm using a little ivory black into that mixture here. But 
back in with the red and I'll be adding some whites in here. It's the front of this comb. And there's all kinds of white feathers in here, but right here, he's got his little part of his upper part of his beak. So his beak comes around. I'm gonna add some white to this color that's already on my brush because it gets a lot paler. So his little, this part of his, oh, this will happen once I get it all blocked in. I get, I'll get all so fixated on some one part of this chicken. Okay, so he's kind of got his head turned a little bit. And there's white feathers that's gonna call it, come all up in here. So his, if I look at his, the fist bottom jaw, is here, his eye will be in this area. And he will have this kind of come down here. And there'll be feathers in here too. His little, his ear, area is right here and we're going in I'm gonna go in a little bit redder here I'm just gonna go in with straight CAD because there's all kinds of fun light that goes right through that waddle and um, we'll be able to mess with that a little bit more fun later but okay we're getting stuff in so I gotta really model his bill down his bills kind of his, his bills not that big so we're gonna take some Van Dyke Brown And cutting in down here. this an edge here. And we are painting on linen panel today. So we'll be able to lighten some of this up. So a lot of times the background is a is actually a supporting <laughs> supporting actor here. And that I can uh, manipulate the values to support my bird. Um, or my subject matter, I should say. Now, like I said, I opted to do, not to go with the greens. And just like I did before, I took the, um, I wanted it to be cooler up at the top. And now I know it looks weird because I've just switched colors, but there's enough of this color is still on my brush. I can pull this in like this and I just move it around and you, it'll be a seamless, you won't be able to see where one starts and stops. Um, I've got to go in back in with that little brush. Switching back over to that little two watt pointed round. Mixing in the Italian brown ochre and pale violet. Remember I said I could I could make these a little skinnier, cutting them down a little bit. I just wanted to give I wanted to give this too. Uh, Susan and Richard for being so kind. They're so generous with sharing and they share their eggs. They get a dozen a day and it's hard to eat a dozen of eggs a day. And, but they're sharing them with a lot of the shelters in this area and friends and, 
and I'm, I'm honored that they consider me a friend and share these beautiful eggs with me. All right, so we're getting this in here. Now it, it does appear that the comb goes in kind of like a descending order here. And I have to make sure that I got the angles correct. And I want it not just to look like any dorking, but it's gotta look like Dudley. And like I said, he's probably going to help with repopulating this particular breed. Um, this is gonna come out a little bit more bring in a little bit of this, more of this color in here. Just blending in. I'll probably take a softer brush for some of the blend there. So we're gonna bring out his little snood. I don't know if that's what they call it on a rooster. On a turkey, the there's a waddle that's kind of above the nose area. It's called a snood. I think that's just funny. I just like to say that word, snood. So this is gonna come from this point over. It comes out a little bit more and then comes in, so. Sometimes you gotta, I'm just gonna lighten up some of the area inside this area. I'm just looking. Oops, I've lost it. Sometimes you just have to you try to get the, uh, you don't want to over blend. And so I just kind of lost my integrity of my, waddles or comb section here. You know, he wants to be impressive. I don't want to, it's like his big crown here. I want him to look good. He's looking good for the ladies. He's got a lot of white in here. And so I may actually highlight some of that area with white but I want to still work that background. So I'm working the background and the foreground at the same time here. I'm back in with a little bit more of this. All right, we're getting it. There is, from where that cone comes straight out, there is an area. and uh, King's Blue. And I'm going to highlight the top of this bird's bill. And I'll be able to fill in the light here. It kind of goes. Down. Okay. He's got that darker gray. just kind of blending up to part of it. I need to blend some of it, but not all of it. So using a tiny brush for little facial features is really <laughs> critical if you're really trying to get them. And since this is almost like doing a portrait. Well, it is a portrait. It's not almost, it is a portrait. This is Dudley. light, light, light part of the lower bill. 
adding a lot more titanium white to our mixture here. And then it goes really light here. Let's go ahead and go white. So we're going to get a little, pick up a little bit more of the yellow, yellow ochre. And then I wipe my brush a lot because I, I now I just want to move or manipulate the paint that I just laid down without really necessarily adding more paint. Again, I, I'm not going to put a ton more detail into that bill. I feel pretty good where it's at, so I'm going to kind of leave it. Um, because I've got all this reds in here, I'm going to, let me, let me pause for just a minute. start here so I'm going to go inside this eye and uh, just putting in this kind of a yellow I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre and I can go ahead and zoom into this eye so I can see a little bit better facing a little bit for uh, to the his, his body is turning a little bit towards his left or to, towards his right and we're looking at the left side of this bird different edges of this bird. I'm trying to get them all in, all around this eye area. And I, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Sorry that it's moving around. Now, I know that looks really bizarre. and just putting it on the very edge of my and I'm going to move on to other parts of the bird okay I just needed to get that in there because there's a lot of a lot of stuff that's different in here that I'm I've got to go ahead and start putting some of the a little bit of the darker details and areas around the bird's head I want to make sure that I have enough nape here. Let's see here. There is, from this point on right here, there's like a little, little area right here, and another little weird kind of waddle situation here. <laughs> a waddle situation. We have a waddle situation. I like that. All right, so I'm popping that in there in with the lighter or warmer cad red and white. Let's see, let me put my brush on. Okay. Titanium white into some cad red. And popping this in there. Taking the 
purple red, which is the magenta, and a little bit of the cad red. Going up under this part of the this little waddle here. There's going to be little feathers in this area. So I'm trying to get differentiation in light and color and temperature in this part. We'll leave that for now. still getting red out of this brush. I'm mixing paint off on the side and I'm getting a lot of red. It's like these some colors you just put a little bit on there and it just it takes forever to get it out. Okay. So there's these little hairs here. And so the, he's got quite a bit of I may have to really be, I may actually have to raise up that comb a little bit. So there's always that, that risk. Now I, I am not really that familiar with the dorking breed as far as little nuances that make him so unique. Other than I know about the toe because they told me about it. There is a white spot. I'm gonna get have to get some more paint here. This is where his little ear patch is. I'm gonna get some more, more white paint. All right, I'm gonna start laying in some more, just bigger shapes on the bird. Um, so by laying in bigger shapes, I'm really just taking uh, the brush and re-emphasizing the areas that I already covered. I don't want any of the uh, linen showing through the canvas, you know, the canvas showing through the painting. So I'm laying it in a little bit thicker and looking for contrasts. So the exterior, or the front part of this bird is actually gonna be a lot whiter and I can see that he's got, I've gotta bring the breast of that bird out even further. The dorking uh, bird is actually a pretty squatty, heavy, little stocky little thing, or at least, at least uh, Mr. Dudley is and so, you know, they seem to have short legs. Another interesting fact about the dorking is that they have an extra hind toe, um, which I found fascinating. I'm, I'm all about that kind of fun stuff. So, you know, he's got, instead of just the three toes in the front and the one toe in the back, he's got two toes in the back. So you can see I'm bringing his chest out a little bit and making him a little bit deeper because he actually is a pretty uh, hefty bird. And uh, so I'm making those adjustments as I go. And really, I'm still in the blocking in stage. I kind of got a little detail in the head, but I just needed to see where everything was going. And um, definitely comparing it to my reference to the side here. And just popping it everything in. And you can see the colors that I'm putting in. Um, I've, I'm using a little bit more browns with my endanthrine blue. And, uh, and just getting it all in, having a ball.
So, now we're gonna put some more paint in here. Sometimes you do want that little bit of a soft edge right in here. Loosening that edge up a little bit. And it kind of comes out here. And then it gets really dark. Well, as I'm blocking in around the tail and around just the features of the wings and everything, it's it's time to get my handy dandy little paint scraper on because this bird looks like it's floating in space. We can't have that. So we're giving a um, Mr. Uh, um, fancy bird here, this little dorking, um, his toes. And you can see there's the extra toes I was talking about, the two back feet. And he does have this fine uh, <laughs> Stefan uh rooster that uh dudley is so he's a fine looking dorking great specimen of his of his breed and so after i kind of cut those in and of course i used the the paint scraper for that and i went ahead and signed it um so i'm just kind of still blocking in the contrasting there's a lot of purples uh in the tail feathers they're kind of brown and purple at least that's how they appear to me in the photo reference and that's kind of the neat thing about roosters um roosters will oftentimes depending on the on the breed either have uh you know have a black feather that shines green or purple so it's it's fascinating and i'm using the paint scraper again to do the veins in the tail feathers actually pretty sharp it's a sword it's a but i'm just going to load it on the end um, let's see if I can do what I want to do here. Yeah, now we're talking. I'm just loading the edge of this. Um, this is a one quarter inch Shiraz uh, sword brush. So it is longer than a dagger, but it's it's got a little bit of a sharper edge and I'm just, just getting these little hairs that are up like this. On Sir Dudley I've got a lot more detail in the eye to do but I'm just trying to get this and what the color I'm using it's not actually white it's a it's a gray um, and I want to be able to you know, make the the whites stand out so I've got a little bit of a red on So you can see you have to leave the dark color underneath. Let me see if I can zoom out a little, little bit for, the, for you here. See, so you, you know, depending on the on the, the length of the hackle or that feather. You, oops, I don't want to do that. So you see how I'm just kind of popping it in there. But you want those long, and you want them to fall kind of curve for the bird. Oops. They do get brighter and whiter on that end. And they're actually a little bit yellower and warmer on this area. So I'll be changing colors here in a minute. And a little longer. I 
interesting enough, it's the same stroke here. Actually, pretty much the same color, except it's whiter up here. We'll we'll get that into it, but. right over I got some detail in here I've got to still do so I'm probably being a little premature here I separated but it's okay these are long feathers and I don't I'm missing the whole I've got to get the rest of the shape in I'll use a smaller brush to do that but rags down below and then I'll be sure to let you know lay my arms in it <laughs> later okay so I'm taking the, the white just a little bit of the yellow warming it up a little bit just using yellow ochre a little bit of uh, oil in it so it runs a little bit smoother okay so I'm just gonna actually take the smaller brush and start adding a lot of the highlights The bird is a lot whiter here. And some of these, whoops, white areas go a little bit deeper into the bird. And he's got a little bit over the nape of his neck. And some light in where I can. Oops, we got a lot of paint. There's some little like little feathers that are just somehow they're catching light. I can see it on the picture. I'm just trying to pop them in there. Pasta. I'm letting the brush do the job here, but so I told you we'd be going over some of these areas. I'm going to go over a little bit, not quite as white, and then just a tiny bit of oil. Just popping these. There is a little bit of, I don't know, I have to put that in there. There's a little bit of shelling, what I would call shelling on the front. Some of these feathers. Excuse me. I'm using the number one uh, pointed red dot and I'm just doing some of the little details and I'm doing the lighter values on top of the grayer and the darker values that I have. And it's almost like a shelling pattern. And that's why I'm, I'm putting that very gingerly on top of all the other colors. So it's bringing it out. And he's got a little bit of that in the front of his chest as well. So that's what I'm doing. Now this is the bottom part of the wing. After you come back from the groomers, he's oftentimes like itchy. Because you can just feel the.
Now I'm using that same little red dot and I'm putting some more of the darker values in. So I go back and forth until I'm satisfied with um, what everything looks like here. Um, this is a fun piece. And the, a lot of the dark values are Van Dyke brown with a little bit of indanthrene blue. And then there is a yellower cast to his uh, primary flight feathers in his wings. So I'm putting in a little bit more yellow ochre uh, combined with a tiny bit of the um, pale violet. I'll just get off, I get off. Um... mark sometimes but I get back on and I'm trying to get all loosen up all this excuse me just trying to get this a little bit darker here So anything, anytime I have like an overlap, I'm going to emphasize the, oh, oops, too much paint. hoping that I've got these little feathers right. Let's make that one a little longer because that's the fun stuff. Okay. I got to do these feet. Now the feet are basically grayish white. A little bit, or, you know, so I'm going to try to get these in here. They're a little bit more yellow. It's too much like my background color, so I'll be darkening some of this. Well, now you can really appreciate the dorking foot. You can see that extra toe. And since I do have the values are very close to the background color, you can see I'm undercutting the toes and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and shadow it in. Of course, here you see me using my finger for a blending tool. I usually recommend that people do not do that, but you know, y'all know what you're doing. Um, but anyhow, I am just popping in the color and putting these feet in and, and it really is kind of important that I get the feet correct since it's a breed characteristic of the dorking is that extra toe. So I've got to make sure that I get everything in there, right? And, uh, and then I'm just putting some of the light values and again, I want to get it right, but I don't want to emphasize it. <laughs> so we're getting the toes in. You see the toes? We're good. We got, we got some chicken feet going in. I just squirted out a little bit of unbleached titanium and I'm going to see if I can do what I want to do. I just want to be able to make it warmer up through this area. The 
the unbleached titanium is warming it up just a tiny bit and you can see I'm laying it in pretty impasto it's pretty thick but I want you to be able to appreciate his hackles and being that they're white I do want to be able to show you the part that's in shadow and the part that's in bright light And you know I'm getting close to the end of a piece when I start going in and putting all the fine details and little highlights here and there and we're getting close. He's got, he's got toenails folks and little detail in the feathers so we're almost at it. Lighten up some of this area here in the face. So, um, it's got an interesting little. realize this area around his eye is actually not pink it's orange it'll be fine okay I kind of messed up on here so I'm gonna go in a little bit in more intense um, this one is gonna be up here and this one is going to be about up here then this is coming out so sometimes you don't see it until after you're into it for a while. So I'm going pretty intense with my color here. This kind of pushes up a little bit. Almost does a little comb here. There's a little weird little loop-de-doop thing. It comes straight out. Just a little bit. And, uh, And this one is bigger than I, his, his combs are, his little, his little crown here is a lot more distinct than what I gave him. Yeah, they're gonna have to set this on a countertop because if they put a frame in, they're gonna lose a lot of this. And sometimes that's because I don't plan, you know, I did not plan out well, but just kind of wanted to do this and I saw um, Richard coming in with the eggs I was like yeah I'm gonna do this today all right everything else seems okay so yeah I had to do that I had to give him that that loft <laughs> to his and so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the light in So we got this. Yeah, now he's a nice proper rooster. All right, there's a little tiny feathers and stuff inside of his face area, and I'm just gonna kind of pop some of these little things in there. Um, 
I'm not gonna go like major detail and worry about it too, too terribly, but I just wanna get him in. And I am letting the little brush do the work. Same here, they're like little tiny hairs, little chicken hairs. Some might call them feathers. Chicken lips. He's got pretty tall. Feathers in here and I'm just trying to let the hairs Oops. You know, if you run it through the red, you got to be really careful not to Make him have pink feathers because you know roosters don't like that. So, folks, this was done today. It took a few hours, but you saw I kind of had to stop and start. I had people come into the studio. I'm going to take this down just a little bit in size. And, um, Now that Mr. Dudley has a proper rooster comb, um, I'm just going in and finishing up with the fine little details here and there. Again, using that little tiny red dot. And uh, you know, you'll be able to see, um, I'm going in pretty heavy with some of the whites um, over the back of his, you know, where he's got these long, beautiful feathers. And I'm, I'm, I need them to be more blunt than what I could do with a sword brush. So I am using the uh, red dot. Um, because I don't need them to have that pointy end. And so you can see the comparison on the side um, where you have those, those ends of the feathers. I'm just trying to get those in there. Um, unfortunately, in my painting, you can't tell that, but you can if you saw the painting in real life. The top of his back is much wider and um, than the rest of him. He almost looks like he's very monochromatic, but there is a difference in his in his values and he's got these little bit of a just a little bit of white feathers here and there and again this is a portrait so I've got to make sure all these little spots and things are in exactly the right place so we're getting we're getting done on Mr. Uh, Dudley here Now I'm going in and putting the little highlighted edges. And you can see I've loaded the brush so that the paint is right on the tip of the brush. So I let the brush do the job. I am not putting pressure on the brush itself. I'm just letting the paint drag across. And that's what's highlighting the tops of these feathers. And I can go back in where I have too much highlight and kind of smooth it down a little bit. Okie dokie, so here we have it. There's our bird. Now there's Dudley in his princely state. He, we've given him a higher crown because he deserves it. Um, he is ready to be, um, he's the chief bird, I, I imagine, at um, Richard and Susan's house. Here's the palette, the finished up palette. You can see we didn't use as much of the blues that I thought I was going to use. I, I used very little of the ultramarine blue, but you can see there's the palette. It's a big old hot mess. And here's Dudley. So, um, had fun with the feathers. You can see the amount of impasto paint that I put down on some of these feathers over his back. And, you know, this was a done in a day kind of piece. 
uh, with a lot of interruptions, but um, it was accomplished. So there you have it, Mr. Dudley. That didn't take very long, did it? Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and put the, the picture or the painting right up here so you can see. Uh, this was fun. This was a very loose piece for me. Um, I did it in about two hours. It didn't take very long. And, um, you know, I just really wanted to keep it simple. And I just really wanted this to be a nice little token of thanks and gratitude uh, to Richard and Susan, who always bring such wonderful farm fresh eggs to me, which I in turn am able to share with a lot of folks here downtown Kingsport. So again, thank you Richard and Susan so much for the eggs and thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in today's video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll get to it and know that I do have a workshop coming up, Birds and Botanicals. It will be in October 7th, 8th and 9th. And uh, go ahead and jump on if you're interested, because right now I, I have, I think, seven or eight spots still available. It filled up when I, I had not even announced it yet. It started filling up, but just with a lot of the people who took the last workshop, they were jumping on. So, you know what? Come, come paint with us. We have a good time, and I would love to have you in my workshop. So look into that. Also, you'll see the join button down here. And with the join button, you can become a member of my channel. And by becoming a member of my channel, you get to be included in some a little bit extra fun. We get to do some other things. And I'll be doing more live streaming uh, that I'll involve just my uh, uh, members on my YouTube channel and my Patreon members as well. So be sure to look into that. And uh, yeah. And if you, again, if you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave in the comment section. And maybe you have an idea of something you'd like to see me paint. Or if you are a member, you can also contact me and let me know if there's something you'd like for me to cover for our membership. Whether it's, I've had a lot of folks asking me about uh, compositional, just basically a class on composition. So if that's something that interests you, let me know. Uh, you can leave it in the comment section or you can go to my community channel I mean, the community tab on my channel and find that and you can leave me messages there too. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me here and until next time, I'll see you. <laughs> Bye.